Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the basics of API, right? Because from the next video, we will get to learn that how we can create our first API. And in this video, we will just get to know that uh, what is API, how we can use it, why we need it, how we can test it, everything that you need to know before your first API, right? So uh, API full form is basically application programming interface. So we can just predict that this is a kind of interface. Yes, this is an interface. Uh, basically, this is used for uh, transfer the data between the two technologies, right? And uh, you can just say that you can just transfer the data from backend to the front end, like PHP to the JavaScript, right? Or PHP or Laravel to the Android, PHP to the uh, iOS, right? Okay, so why we need to just uh, transfer the data from one technology to the another technology? The reason is like the front end technologies like Angular, React, Vue, Android and iOS, they cannot connect with the database directly, right? So they need some medium to uh, get the data from database That's uh, so that they can just show the data on the front end and all, right? So uh, that uh, for that, we need uh, some another technology like PHP, Laravel or Node so that we can create the APIs and uh, Laravel is uh, perfect for creating the APIs because we can connect the Laravel with the database. Simple. So here you can see that in the Laravel, we will just make the APIs and we will consume or use these APIs in the Angular, Android and uh, React and Views, right? So now how actually data will look like when uh, we just create the APIs? So data will be look like this, right? So maybe for uh, if you are not familiar with too much with the programming languages and uh, or the APIs, then we just call it JSON format, right? This JSON format is understood by the all technologies. Like it can be understood by the Laravel, Angular, React, iOS, Android, Vue. Any technology can understand it because this is a standard for the APIs, right? So. Uh, we will just make these kind of APIs in the uh, Laravel and send these API to the uh, front-end technologies like uh, Angular or React or Vue or Android and these kind of things, right? And one major benefit is uh, API is that when we just uh, making a uh, mobile application with the web application and uh, even we are making the two mobile application Android and iOS, then we don't need to just uh, create the too much uh, connection. So we can just make a simple API once and it can be used for the React and same API can be used for the Android and same API can be used for the um, iOS, right? That's why this is a, a very useful thing. It will actually reduce the lots of work, right? So in the next video, we will see that how we can create it. But first of all, we just need to know that how we can test it. Because, okay, so some backend developer just made these APIs, but how front-end developer uh, get to know that this is working fine or not, right? So for that, we will use actually the Postman. And uh, if you don't know about the Postman, then don't worry. Whenever I'm just going to make APIs, I will tell you that how we can test it on the uh, uh, this API on the Postman. But uh, let's look uh, uh, some overview on the Postman also, right? So you can just search that the uh, Postman Chrome extension and uh, you will just get this link on a, a top, right? And here you will find that install app because I already installed it. That's why it show me the launch app. So we can just simply launch it like uh, click on it. And now you will find this kind of thing, right? So. Uh, you can find this there's a lots of type of api, API like get api post api put patch delete copy head there's a lots of kind of apis but uh, get apis is the simplest way or simplest type of the api so how we can test it you don't need to just do anything you can just paste your url and just test it right like this and you will just get the data here right and uh, after just uh, testing on the API on the postman, user can just uh, integrate in, in the front end. So there is uh, some lots or more options like uh, you can just select the post API and here you can just send the data to the back end also. 
right so sometimes we just need to submit the form and all kind of things from the android and ios to sign up and login kind of stuff right that time we also use the post api put API, and the lots of things so we will just get to learn all these things in the upcoming video and for now thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care